M0FXB, welcome back to the channel. QYT KT8R or the Radtel RT4B. Let's download the software from QYT and program the radio. The cable I'm using is the all-in-one cable. They're only about £12 and they fit lots of radios, so it's a no-brainer to use that cable. You can actually use Chirp as well, we'll look at that, but first of all, we'll use the QYT software. So let's download this. I've not used this before, I'm doing it all live in front of you, because I like to learn myself in front of you with my phone making lots of noises. Uh, I think that's the best way. Just learn and uh, just click that and then go continue. QITAR CPS, continue. Just going to go yes because I have loaded stuff before, so it's probably seen that. Click OK and that's it. We're all installed. So I click the shortcut that's appeared here at the bottom. This is what it looks like. Mm, it doesn't really look very good, does it? I'm not sure if that's actually usable like that. So let's try. Well, one of these is going to be read and one is going to be write. So let's click that thing. Okay. Now I think that's reading from the radio. <laughs> so I think we'll probably go straight to chirp. Because that isn't even eligible, is it? It's fun trying. Okay. I okayed it. I can see that it is, as I click, we are seeing things. All right. Well, that to me looks a mess. I'll look at some other videos. Let's go to Chirp. So I put the link in for Chirp. You just download it in the normal way. Let's go to download from radio. Select the port. So we go right click on the Windows square. Get our device manager. And it's COM8, look. So COM8. COM8. And then QRT KT8R. Click OK. Turn off your radio. Ah, maybe that was what it is. Turn off your radio. Connect the cable. Turn on your radio. Download. Click OK. Ah, well that seems better. And I did, oh thanks to the person that messaged me on my YouTube channel that said check out the KT8 rather than the Radtel. I mean that software looks bad. Maybe there's an adjustment with the language. Uh, and this is quite an easy way to program by hand. It also is, you can select all the different screen colors. I mean, it's just, it's actually a very cool radio. The only down bit is they haven't put USB-C into the, the battery, which I'm sure they will. And I would recommend you buy the one with the larger capacity battery, because I think they're selling for the same price. But anyway, let's have a look at Chirp. Let's get a name in here. So... No, I haven't put anything in yet, so let's just put in a hubnet first. So it's 434.550. And then we'll go hubnet. Tone, I do need 77. There's no shift on that. So that's good. And then the power in this shack is low. And then we'll put in a repeater. So let's go 145.750. That's GB3BC. GB3BC, tone 94.8, there's the tone, and we just want to choose 94.8, uh, just on transmit, so I think that's put it there already, and um, we'll leave that high because that's quite far from me, then we'll do 77, 430.925 there, actually we need to get the shift in on that other one. Offset is, is it going to let me do it? I know what, you've got to select duplex first. So we want on that, we want minus on the, oh, that's just vanished now. How did it go down there? Anyway, it doesn't matter. So we're just going to go duplex minus. And then we want a 0.6, you want that. 
See that says 0 0.6, that's actually 100. Click OK and that will be good. Not sure why I put it there though, that's funny. Uh, the name's in though, minus, and it's high power, and let's up here in the gap, let's put in uh, 430.825, we'll call that one, capital letters GB3ZB, this is GB3FI, and then maybe this one we can go 433.300, and that is GB three WB. Okay, and we need our tones. Tone, tone, and there. All of them use seventy seven actually. Actually, the two meter one uses ninety four point eight. But otherwise, they're all seventy seven. You'll find that with the repeaters, they tend to be similar, unless they're very near together. And that's the whole point of it. So, um, da -da -da. so we've got a few memory channels in there and names. Of course, we can file import export. With Chirp, you can import uh, banks of pro of files. Uh, let's go file. If you go to radio, look. If you go query source and look, go to one of these. Say radio. Let's go to repeater book. You can do a search and you can bring in lots of frequencies. We're not going to do that now. Um, let's go to let's go to the settings tab. So settings tab. You sort of got that from the radio. Uh, wow, you've got loads. And remember, with this, you can set all the colors. See all the colors here. You can set if you want to receive. Um, on the front, you've can you've got a display of four different channels. Well, you can select if you want to receive all of them or not. So you've noticed on display A, B, C, D, at the moment it, we've told it to display the frequency, but we can just tell it to display the name. Okay, let's just do it. Oh, we've got language there as well. Actually, we'll leave two at name and two at frequency. Alarm channel, voice prompt, you can turn on and off the beep. TMR, is that a return menu? DTMF, yeah, we know that works. TX in multi standby. I'm just looking at all the different settings. DTMF. Yeah, nothing new. Memories. Okay, let's upload that to the radio. Click OK. So that's going back to the radio. All right, radio reboots. And if we go into memory mode by pressing the blue button, we'll unplug the programming cable, turn it up. You can, get, you can cycle through, look, see, it's going through the different channels. That's good, isn't it? I'm not seeing the names. You probably need to select that you want the name to show. So it's not the clearest image. But you get the idea. So we're doing lots of videos. The menu. About 50, 60 menus. But this is more about programming and using Chirp. If I get the, the original software to be clearer, I'll make another video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.